Deary me, it's me, believe me, and you why, although you cannot see me. Hi, salute him. That was Jamila. Ali is mildly post-workout. And well, hell, it was not a saluted gym session. For good measure. Allow me to expand on that. I'm making videos almost on a daily basis, baby please, as of late, to connect with you guys. Actually, reconnect with my YouTube fan base if you guys are still alive, if you guys are still lifting. And of course, if you still want to watch me. So, I elected today to try a new gym because, you know, it's February. Uh, my regular gym is stormed, senseless, by newbies, baby, please. Being there almost on a daily basis, doing whatever, man. It was jam-packed. I said, I might as well try another gym uh, next to me. I went there. Uh, you know, I just took a look real quick uh, on the equipment. I said, it might be okay. We'll give it a try. We'll see how it goes. If the vibe is, is fine. As soon as you arrive there, they make you go on a computer to subscribe actually online. Okay. So we did that. Uh, plethora, a litany of rules. You go to the mall. Several actually uh, price range, right? Because uh, if you want to be 24 hours, seven, you pay more. If you want to have a platinum basically subscription, you pay more to give you access to some private courses, which is nonsense. Uh, if you want to go uh, have your tanning uh, salon, if you have access to the tanning machines, you pay more. Although you got to pay every time, but you got to uh, you pay more. Some extra things that are just nonsensical, man. Uh, if you want to be, you have the, the option to train at other gym locations, you pay more. You pay more. But um, bro, just give me the simplest one. I want to come like 707. That's it. Basic one. That's it. I subscribed. And then we get there uh, before. Sorry. <laughs> hey, most important thing. He told me, bro, of course, over here, you find this quite peculiar. We need to have like two pairs of shoes because winter, right? Sorry, it's not India, bro. So we need to change the shoes. I'm okay with that. And they told me, bro, uh, be careful. Have like um, basically, um, uh, be careful. There is some robbery in the locker room. I said, really? So yeah, that they 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 they, they rob. Good, amazing. What a good start. You get there. Frankly, the equipment was not saluted. The crowd is totally different. Mostly oldies who are not into lifting, right? Merely, I think one or two squat racks, which are just not saluted. Squat rack in which you cannot do rows because there is no hangers to hold the bar quite low. So they're always high. And how the hell are you going to do rows? So if you want to do rows, you're going to pick uh, the barbell from the ground, which is not convenient at all. Uh, one, uh, one, actually only one um, uh, Smith machine, not saluted. Um, yeah, the quad was different. Uh, they were looking at me weird. I looked like, a, almost like a, like a bodybuilder compared to them, although I don't give that vibes, but they were wearing like regular clothes, you know, like t-shirts and whatnot, whereas me, I have my whole nine yards. Anyway, uh, it was a woke gym. Wherever you, you, um, you basically, you look, there are basically signs and orders to tell you how to behave. Uh, you're not allowed to talk to another uh, member without their consent, I think, or things like that. And by the way, when I was uh, filling up my, uh, my subscription online, it asks you uh, which gender you, you have. And believe you me, there are not only two. I play four of them, a choice. Tell you that much. And then you have those basically the, the cleaners, you know, the cleaners, the push-push cleaners. It tells you use less paper and scrub more. I swear to God, they want you to use only one tiny paper, but they want you to scrub more to protect the uh, environment. Nothing was good. Um, equipment was not that diversified because it's really geared uh, towards like maybe cardio people. All these, maybe please. I stayed there for a maximum an hour. I had to, you know, I took my pre-workout. I had to train. Get some legs in there. Since it was not good. Since it was not good. So be careful, guys. When you utilize a brand new gym, do not go all out. The angles are different. The machinery is different. Apparatus is different. It might hurt you. For instance, when I was utilizing that Smith machine, the angle was weird, so the sensation was totally different. I will not use my regular weight. I took it easy to not 
encountering type of injuries, uh, baby, please. And uh, guess what? I had to cancel after that. I'm brought going to cancel. But guess what? He charged me 29 bucks. That's a cancellation fee. Go figure that out, man. Although I canceled right away. But I guess, hey, lesson learned, right? All this to say, guys, that the gym experience is very, very important. I spoke in the previous videos about you filling up the void. Don't have void in your life. And gym, gym life is the best one. You need that. It's mandatory. If you're a man with age, you will notice how, how important it is. Right? How important it is. I mean, that's the biggest investment I put in my life personally. I don't want to convey that. No matter how old you are, start it as soon as possible and roll with it for the rest of your life. As you guys know, let me remember you. Let me remind you, actually. I am 48, right? I received a plethora of men who train with me, who I coach. And uh, when they come to me, some of them are my age and they look much older, unfortunately. Much older because they did not have a fit lifestyle before. And they try to bounce back. Most of them do it successfully. But, hey, do not let it hit you because dead bod and old age, when it hits you, man, it hits you. When you hit the wall, it's hard to come back. It will accumulate a litany of, of, of health issues. <laughs> it comes with age. Old age will bring some, some damage to your body. Uh, be careful with that. Be careful with that, guys. And again, it's very, very important. I will never settle for a bad gym. I was just talking to another friend of mine. He's down in Florida. He rather goes to a paying gym, like a paid gym that costs him a lot, rather than one just next to him, which is free. And that's same with me. I will never settle for a bad gym. So now to fix this, obviously I have my home gym at home in my basement, which is just fine. But sometimes I need to diversify the apparatus. So guess, guess what? It's a new challenge for me. I will find a new window when there is not a lot of people, not a lot of newbies, not a lot of crossfitters running around in my gym. And that's pretty much it, right? So that's that, guys. Be careful. Fill up your time with something positive. And a fitness lifestyle is where you start. All my advice that I'm giving you, if you don't train, if you don't lift, brother, I'm serious. It will not work. You need something to be addicted to. It might as well be something positive and beneficial to you rather than you consuming some things or indulging in, in uh, nonsense, right? And that's that, guys. Be saluted. Uh, for you guys on my YouTube, I'm going to put my links to my social media in, in the first comment. You have my TikTok. TikTok will be solely used for, for lives because I think it's more efficient. You will have my TikTok on the first one, my Instagram on the second one, and add me as a friend on Facebook on the third one. Salute it be.